Hi, I'm Dave Bergman, IPC Vice President of International Relations, and I have IPC's technical question online. This time, the technical question is related to copper wrap plating. It came from one of our member companies uh, asking about IPC specifications. Uh, does Class 3 plating thickness requirement stated in IPC 6012 apply to wrap copper as well as the, cop the plated copper in the hull? So to take a look at this, the first thing you need to do is uh, you can look at the latest 6012C, which has this information. But then you need to understand kind of what the heck uh, wrap uh, copper is. So here we have an illustration from 6012, and it's a cross-section illustration of the plated through hole, this being the uh, copper wall thickness. And then what they're talking about the copper wrap, it's how it goes over the edge or the knee and out onto the land. Uh, with some of the new structures being used within the printed circuit boards, the definition of the wrap and what happens at the knee and what happens on the surface is, is very important to be specified. And so the question is related to, are we talking about copper thickness here? Are we talking about copper thickness here? And, and uh, so what are all the detailed requirements? The answer to the question is the specification has requirements for both in there, both the plated through hole as well as the wrap copper. And so to look at 6012, you're going to look at table 3-3. If we're talking about class 3, they have spec requirements for the copper plated in the hole, and that's essentially uh, 25 micron or 1 mil. If you're then going to look at the wrap copper, or what's happening here in the corner and out onto the land, uh, there is a definition that it can be thinner, uh, but the wrap copper then needs to be 12 micron or essentially a half a mil. The other thing to sp that is specified in here uh, in the uh, illustration and subsequent tables is that there's a certain amount that the wrap copper has to continue over the, the, the uh, foil plating that's on the surface and it has to go out 25 micron uh, out onto the to the land here. The plate of cop copper has to go out uh, one mil or 25 micron on the surface as part of the requirements. And so they're, they're making sure that you have a good bond there. Uh, there's also newer requirements for some of the things like in this particular one in the cap structures where they're putting uh, plating over uh, the via fill material and uh, there's requirements in the 6012 uh, for that as well, for class 3, uh, normally that would be uh, about uh, 12 micron as well. Anyway, that is the uh, IPC technical question online. If you'd like us to answer your question, please send your question in to answers at ipc.org.